Hello everybody and welcome to the 10th and final episode of Korean Dialect Lessons. Today it's going to be a little different because it's the last one. So, what we're going to do, first we're going to go over all of the expressions we've learned so far, and then from each episode we've picked a couple of questions that you guys have asked, and we're going to answer them for you. So, let's call teacher Sakjin. Sakjin Young! Jun! Why did you know that? We all know! <laughs> so, let's start the review. In the first episode, we learned 만나. 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 What does it mean? It's really? Yes. In standard dialect, you can say 맞아? 그래? 그래? 진짜? Yeah. But we can say 만나. 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 And then the second episode we learned 가. 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 I didn't mean to go. <laughs> go it's away. Not, it's not get out of here. Yeah. Not that 가. Mm. That person. Yeah. That boy. That man. That girl. That woman. That being over there. That yeah. yeah. So everything is ka. Ka. Mm. In the third episode, we learned aiga. Aiga. What does it mean? In well, I can only think of the standard example, but like something hetchana or like momochana. Yeah, like we both know mm. about it. So it's like, uh, isn't it? Yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. So Your English is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> In Seoul dialect, it is. 뭐뭐 했잖아. 그것들 like 우리 친구잖아. 우리 많이 먹었잖아. But we can say 많이 먹었다 아이가. 많이 먹었다 아이가. 우리 친구 아이가. 우리 친구 아이가. Yeah. The intonation is quite different. 친구 아이가. <laughs> you remember that, right? I do. This is our 친구 our tip 아이가. When you're learning these expressions to try to feel the mm. intonation. Yeah. In the fourth episode, we learned 뭐라카노. Morakano. 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 What does it mean? Morakano is like, what did you say? What did you say? It, well, it depends on how you say it, mm. but it can either be rude or just between friends. But yeah. it's like, what did you say? Mm. So when you use this expression, you have to be careful of the intonation. Yeah, you don't so, want to sound too. What did you say? Yeah, it's so rude. <laughs> like him, when I say like, Maracano! So people will regard me as a rude person. But if I say just, Maracano! Maracano! Some Something softer. soft, yeah, yeah, intonation, then people will regard me as not the rude person. And the next episode is, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it means how. How? Yes. If you were paying attention, when Seok Jin Hyung popped, just came in from nowhere, I was like, Oh yeah, or no? Yes. He how said did that. you get here? Mm. How did you come here? Yeah. How did you get here? He said, Oh yeah, or no? Oh yeah. Means how. So in the next episode, we learned Oksuro. 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 We use Oksuro. Oksuro. <laughs> oh, we, you use oksuro, oksuro. Yeah, I get it. So, <laughs> I mean, I use this expression a lot. Yeah, because oksuro means a lot or mm. many. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you say oksuro chukje. Oksuro chukje. Very cold right now in Korea. Yeah. It actually snowed a lot today. Yeah. The seventh episode we learned wa. 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 It does not mean come here. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Wow. Wow, wow. It's, wow. It's, it's not wow. It means why. Why? Why? Where? Where in standard dialect, but wow. 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 In Gyeongsang province dialect. Wow is it wow in Gyeongsang province dialect. <laughs> <laughs> and in the next episode, the eighth episode, we learned Momo Hedo. Hedo. Do you remember I asked the terrorist to buy ice cream? So I said, Ice cream, just hado. Ice cream, hado. And I pretended to ignore him, but in the end, I bought it anyway. Yeah, because I'm so nice. So we learned, "Omo hado, ice cream, hado, hado, kado, kado, wado, wado." And also, to be careful, we said in that episode, it's not wado, mm. which is a which is the double consonant. Mm. So we have to be careful of the pronunciation of yeah. this one. Yeah, it's not like wado. Wado, no. You no, know, wado. 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 In the last episode, mm -hmm. we learned dandy. 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 Dandy, you're kidding. 
What does it mean? It's like do it the right way, yes. the correct way, or yes. the proper way. Mm. Ah. Because it is so cold, I can ask somebody to wear the clothes properly and to, to wear something more. So I can say, 단디 입어라, 옷 단디 챙겨 입어라 to the person. 단디 입어라. 단디 챙겨 입어라. Can you use 단디 and then 존댓말 at the end? For example, like 단디 해주세요. Yeah, yeah, we can also say that. In 존댓말, we can say 단디 해주 있어. 해주 있어. Yeah. So yeah, that's another one like that. we haven't gone over yet, but if you want to continue studying uh, dialects, that's another grammar point. Instead of 해주세요, you can say 해주 있어. Uh, I think it, this is the first time to teach you 존댓말 in Gyeongsan province I think dialect. So, yeah. <laughs> so why don't we say that that's our keyword for today's lesson? That's mm. our tenth word. Yeah. So we've taught you guys so far ten <laughs> expressions. <laughs> 해주 있어. <laughs> yeah. 한국어 열심히. 열심히. 단디. 단디. 공부해 주 있어. 공부해 주 있어. 열심히 단디. Same meaning. 단디 공부해 주 있어. So there was two expressions in one sentence. Yeah. Anyway, well, now since we're done with this section of the video, we're going to go over questions that you guys asked on each one of our videos. So, yes. stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you so much. We received so many comments so far. We did. Uh, I picked several comments from each episode. So, we'll read them and then we can also answer some of the questions. Let's go. Okay, first, Niam Mulholland said, Why is the Jiut in Manna pronounced Nian? Also, does Jincha mean the same thing as Manna? If you were to pronounce the first character in Manna separately, it would be Mat and Na. na. But since they they come together, it's sort of hard to say Majna. Na. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to say a J and then an N sound. So mm. the Jiut gets nasalized and it becomes more like the N sound. So it's pretty much like you're just saying two Ns. Mm. Manna. Mm. Okay, then next comment. Okay, and the next comment is from Kilika89. Mm -hmm. And Kilika says, Is there a polite form of manna, like kure? Like kure turns into kureo? So wh I think what they're saying is, kureo is like the formal way of saying kure. Mm -hmm. So is there a formal way of saying manna? Yes, there is. So we can say kureo. <laughs> <laughs> the word is same, kureo. But the intonation is really different. So in the standard, it'd be kureo. Kureo. But we can say kureo. Kureo. Mm. It is same in manna too. So we can say majayo. Majayo. In standard dialect, you can say majayo. Yeah, majayo. But we can say majayo. 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 Mm. Majayo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next comment. Banzai Loko said, What's muko? Moko? I think it was moko at Moko. Yeah, 2 minutes 54 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It means, What is that? What is that? Yeah. Kukuto moko. Moko! So in standard, like it is. Boya! Boya! But. Boya! <laughs> but in Gyeongsang Prime's dialect, it is. Moko. 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 Okay, the next comment is from Legho, and that person says, "Wait a second, isn't K like a dog with a little slanted side <laughs> frown face?" Mm -hmm. And actually, the next commenter, Carly Kwon, mm -hmm. answered that person, and she said, "That's K K. This is K K K. And it's hard to understand just hearing it, so we will write it out for you guys. This is." The word ge, which means dog. dog. So it's kia mm -hmm. plus a, a e. e. Yeah, and then the ge I said in the episode is. They this. look very similar, but mm. it's a little different. This is kia plus ya e. Mm. It's like yeah. Yeah. Ge. Ge. The pronunciation's a little different, but mm. they're so similar. <laughs> yeah. And then there's another ge. There is another ge. Yeah. In Korea, I guess historically, this A and this A are pronounced differently, but nowadays they're pronounced, or most people, I should say, pronounce them the same, hmm. especially people in Seoul. But some older people, like really older generations, and for some reason, Hyojin, <laughs> they can still pronounce it differently. Hmm. But when you're learning Korean now, I'm sure your teacher will probably just pronounce them the same because that's what most people do. Does anybody know what K this is? It means? Yeah, it's crabs. Crab. Crab. 
that person mm -hmm. and dog. Dog. Let's move on. So the next question is from Peter Park Comedy, mm -hmm. or the next comment, mm -hmm. and that company says, <laughs> I thought isn't it would be aninga. Aninga is, uh, you know, standard dialect. Yeah, it's a standard dialect. Mm. And it is, isn't it? Mm. But aninga? But in Gyeongsang Province dialect, it is aiga. Yeah, aiga, not mm. Aninga. The next question is from our fourth video. Nia S says, 광주 사투리도 했으면 좋겠습니다. 현우 쌤은 교양이 광주 아닙니까? Yes, his hometown is Gwangju, but unfortunately, he's not in the office right now. Should we call him? Okay, I will ask Hyunwoo later. So I got another phone call from Seokjin and I am here to answer your question. So if you're wondering whether we will be doing another series on Jeollado dialect, the dialect that is spoken in Gwangju and other cities around Gwangju, yes, we will do it. Although I'm not sure whether I'll be the host or not, I have some rusty dialect skills. I've lost some of my own dialect. So maybe I can go back to my parents' house and brush up on my Gwangju Saturi and then come back to host it. So yes, there will be a series. I'm not sure when, I'm not sure who will be the host or who will be the teacher, but there will be one. Thank you. Okay, okay. and our last comment is mm. from Glasses Rabbit. Rabbit. Glasses Rabbit. And this person said, uh, If you say it, Ice cream sado! Ice cream sado! Ice cream sado. Nobody will think does this look like egg? I'm saying in egg. Does this look like egg? No. Mm -hmm. So I think it's up to the no, the status. Your, how you say your it. body language and your yeah. tone. So okay, let's have the egg time. Oh okay. Okay. We will say ice cream sajuseo in Gyeongsang Province dialect and then we will add some you know, segment of egg. Okay, okay. Turn on my egg skills. Mm -hmm. Ice cream sato. Too weak. Uh, too weak. Ice cream sado. Ice cream sado. Ice cream sado. And unfortunately, that's all the comments we have for you today. And mm. before we go, mm. I have a special message for everybody. Okay. Okay. Let me go. I have to prepare myself. Okay, everybody. First, I want to say thank you for always supporting us and watching our dialect lessons. But unfortunately, I have some bad news. As you heard in the beginning of this video, today's episode was the last episode. Maybe not forever, but at least for a couple of months. And this is because today is my last day in the Talk To Me In Korean office, and um, I had a really great time, and I'm glad everybody supported me and was always giving me positive comments, but unfortunately I have one more semester left of school in the US. So at the end of this month I will leave Korea, go back, finish my last semester, and hopefully I'll come back at the end of May. While I'm gone though, I'll try to make videos occasionally on my YouTube page, so I hope you follow me and I hope you continue to watch Talk To Me In Korean videos. Yeah, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Also, if you're interested about me or how I learned Korean. Hyunwoo Hyung uploaded a video so you can watch that and uh, find out more about me. All right, bye. Hyunwoo, 이제 사투리 다 떨어지고 스킵도 재미 없는데 발음 좀 세고 있어. 과연 어떻습니까? Nigagara Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>